this Sylvanas has like action 2, Murphy vs. Soraya, Death of Naruto, Dragon Ball vs. Naruto. I kind of want Murphy to win, but I really like both characters. I kind of lean a little bit me like maybe Jiraiya's gonna win, but like I don't actually know stuff like that. I know Murphy's somehow, somewhat involved in stuff in this channel, so much of her reasons for the push, I like just in my opinion, and certain things. Like, honestly, in both universes, power, like, the equivalent of power levels are bullshit in both universes, so, you know, life's got, life's got, I mean, so, it's time to, two, one, play. You know what would be a pretty memorable holiday present? A gift for genetic discovery. 23 meet DNA kits are on sale from now until December 25th. It's a testing service that can provide insight into your ancestry, health, wellness, and traits. And it's super easy to use. You spit it to, mail it in, set up an online account, and they'll send you a personalized report in just a few weeks. We love learning about the unknown here at Death Battle, so I tried it myself and found out I have a bunch of relatives over in the UK I never knew about. Now, until December 25th, get 30% off any 23andMe kit by ordering at 23andMe.com slash death battle. That's the number 23andMe. Dot com slash death battle. Again, that's 23andMe.com slash death battle. The, 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 the finest the, warriors the, are never developed the, on their own. The, 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 While some are simply molded the, by their enemies, the best usually uh, seek the yeah, wisdom I of see a master. Well, I for some reason, that. is a weird old pervert like Roshi, Myrtle Hermit, and teacher to Dragon Ball's greatest hero. Right. Christ and Jiraiya, the nerd. Toad Sage and oh, instructor damn. to the most famous ninja of all. He's like, with I mean, the Nine like Boomstick, and it's our job to analyze skills. their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a Pretty death hard. battle. Five. Okay, that's just what three is awesome. Goku is, without a doubt, one of the greatest martial arts champions of the world. He only got three of the types of versions. He's good enough to rival gods, become a Super Saiyan, and even master Ultra Instinct. But he never would have achieved any of it without the guidance of Master Roach. A martial artist who's so powerful, there's only one thing in the world that can stop him. Well, uh, two things, really, if you get what I mean. I know your game, old man, and I don't want to play. Anyway, when he was a hip youngin', Roach, he stood wow. under the legendary Master Potato. Mutaito. And a kitty cat, these masters of ass whooping cock are going to weaponize his own life. Similar to many real-life Chinese martial arts, he is a vital energy all living beings possess. The stronger and more focused you are, the greater your key becomes. Roshi can use his key to increase his power, pushing past his physical limits with a bunch of awesome technique. He can fire explosive shots, go buff mode, stun foes with thunder shock surprise, and even seal dangerous enemies away with the evil containment wave. It wasn't long until Roshi yeah. refined these Gosh. techniques and created his own martial arts style, Turtle School. Creepy old man Turtle School, creepy old man Turtle School, Roshi and a half tail, he's a turtle. No, it's not about beating people up as slow as you can, like I first thought. Turtle School, or Kame style, includes everything from tricky pressure point combat to a phony drunken style. Which, if you ask me, is just a missed opportunity to get wasted. By delivering milk up a mountain, while the most dangerous performing fists are shot, and being chased by both sharks and bees, while wearing a 50-pound shell, Roshi's martial art focuses on breaking the wall of humanity in every way. Except for what? <laughs> Despite most of his students learning it at some point, flight is actually a technique developed by his rival, the crane school. Apparently, Roshi's just been a bit too stubborn to properly learn the skill, even after centuries of experience. Wow. How long has he been doing this? Well, it's a little vague, but thanks Marvel to Phoenix. either a pet phoenix he accidentally killed, or the sense. mysterious paradise nice herb, he's Rapport. just shy of 360 years old. Damn, I'm just impressed he can still fuck. get it up for the girls after all that time. Boomstick, that's... Well, I mean, yes, I guess, medically speaking, it is quite impressive. Where can I get me some of this paradise yeah. grass? I want to be chasing tails for the Good luck with that. But with all of those years spent honing his oh talents, Roshi dedicated 50 of them to develop.
developing one revolutionary technique. Help me! Help me! Ah! Anyway. I wonder if I'm gonna get to a guy with horses. Anyway, to be honest, devastating is an understatement. Well, yeah, he blew up a whole freaking mountain with it. Oh, this was inspired was by the mountain. real life flaming mountains in China. Standing at 2,600 feet tall. With this in mind, we can find that to pulverize such a mountain, Roshi's Kamehameha must equal nearly 4 gigatons of TNT. But that small stuff compared to the time he obliterated the entire moon in about 5 seconds, that's gotta be worth, what, like 10, 20 mountains? Wait, how many mountains make a moon? Well, more like 35 billion. To obliterate the moon in its entirety, the uh, 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 with a force uh, akin uh, to three octillion tons of Jesus TNT. Christ. That's uh, 27 zeros, by the way. Yeah. Holy shit, Roshi's also it's super Saturday. fast. He can fight an entire battle in a blink of an eye. Which might seem crazy, but Roshi is also able to snatch bullets out of the air that are fired at him from point-blank range. That gun looks like a British stand, which can fire up to 600 rounds per minute at a muzzle velocity of nearly 1,200 feet per second. That wow. means Roshi would have to react to the first bullet within 5 milliseconds. Additionally, each consecutive bullet would reach him just shy of 17 milliseconds apart. The so maximum distance between any given shot would be about massive. <laughs> which means he would have to be moving at 180 feet per second in order to catch them all. Oh, man, I think our cars are This wow. is far from his limit, but Roshi's true talent is ensuring his students grow further and further than himself every day. Sadly, not saying, Roshi's tell me how to how. age means his body can't always What's express just how powerful he is. Really and using too much to be a deacon got all sorts of problems. Like when his master, Pistachio, died using the evil containment wave. But while Roshi's pupils may surpass him, he remains one of the smartest fighters on Earth. He's tough enough to take down dozens of Frieza soldiers and survived a beatdown from an alternate universe wannabe Frieza. He even took a barrage of death rays like a champ. The same move that killed Vegeta many, many years ago. And in the Dragon yeah, Ball yeah. manga, Roshi is shown to be so collected in battle, have, his moves have started to emulate those of Ultra Instinct. Yeah, that's not technically canon, but it does go to show how far Roshi's training can take him. And it's safe to say that this old, perverted, but genius of a man will never stop training. Damn. That's pretty nice, actually. Among the ninja of the Hidden Leaf Village, few are quite as impressive as Naruto Uzumaki. Yeah, I know that's crazy, cause, you know, but not just anyone can fight aliens on the moon and become president of Hidden Valley Ranch. Wow. Naruto would become that's, the Hidden that's Leaf's greatest not... champion and seventh Hokage, but this would never have been possible without his wow, training under the dynamic stupid. code sage and legendary Sani, Jiraiya the Gallant. Damn right. Gallon, huh? Yeah, huh? Why do the most badass old dudes always turn out to be weird perks? Oh, well, don't let his uh, crude demeanor fool you. Oh, don't worry about me, Wiz. This ain't my first trip to Secret Leaf Ninja Town. Nothing surprises me anymore. What the f? Oh my god, the face. Um, anyway, Jiraiya originally learned his shinobi way from the third Hokage. Who yeah, that's right. His chakra to do ninja magic. Similar to the form of life energy. In Hindu and Buddhist theologies, chakras are, in simplest terms, gates within the human body which can be embraced to achieve enlightenment. However, in the world of Naruto, chakra is used to perform a yeah, ninja techniques called jutsu. I'm Michelle. Like most ninja, Jiraiya learned about four types of jutsu. Taijutsu, or hand-to-hand -hand combat. Ninjutsu, harnessing chakras as elements right. and weapons and tools. Genjutsu, which covers illusion and mental manipulation. And Senjutsu, a method of utilizing naturally occurring energy as an extension of oneself. Jiraiya mastered as many styles as he could, and even learned one of the greatest ninjutsu attacks out there, the Rasengan. Damn right. This, he gathered his chakra into a spinning orb of death, modeled up the ultra-destructive tail beast power, and that's how he came out a whole 
whole village all at once. Uh, and on the weird side, he can sharpen his twisted sister mane into a shield like a porcupine uh, and fire the hairs out like a needle gun. Possessing a keen and mischievous mind, Jiraiya spent plenty of time developing brand new techniques, such as the invisibility jutsu, which you'd think would be perfect for stealth or assassination missions, but he actually developed it specifically for... Uh... Research? Where else is a self-respecting writer supposed to get his, uh, inspiration from? Clearly, Jiraiya sometimes took his tinkering a bit too far. On one such occasion, he accidentally teleported himself to a mystical land full of giant talking toads. Wiz, you sure did Hi, Michelle. Just like another name for crack. After yeah. After befriending the toads, I mean, Jiraiya trained under the sage Fukasaka, where he learned sure. a bunch of fire release techniques, like the toad oil bullet and flame sure. bullet attacks. Now that's one impressive loogie. Jiraiya entered a pact with the toads, learning their ways and summoning them to the field of battle. As his own talents relied on trickery over brute force, such as hiding in shadows and manipulating his opponent's movements, the powerful toads were perfect allies. He can trap his foe inside a toad's throat, transform them into toads, or even call a gigantic amphibian warrior to his side. Like the biggest grump you've ever seen, Kamabunta! Yeah, right. I'm just in that direction. And through Fukasaki's teaching, I kind of think combined efforts, he entered a new mighty form called Sage Mode. Like this, well, it honestly. takes a long time to get into. Sage Mode Jiraiya can do all sorts of things he couldn't before. Like the unpredictable martial art Frog Kata, and a deadly Genjutsu, the demonic illusion Toad Confrontation Chain. Which sounds good, so why don't we just call it your your soul is trapped by these big guys who desperately want to high-five, leaving your physical body totally open to a swift kill. Sage mode also enhances Jiraiya's other abilities, turning his normal Rasengan into a big ball Rasengan, which, according to the official data books, is strong enough to carve away a mountain. Wiz, he's way more than just a mountain man. Jiraiya is quick enough to fight some of the fastest people around. Like Kakashi and Itachi, nice. some of sure. which are fast enough to intercept lightning. The leader of a lightning bolt moves around 220,000 miles per hour, putting ninja like Jiraiya around speeds of Mach 280. Now I get why she's faster. So awesome. Who needs but guns when you're more than 100 times faster than enough. bullets? While Jiraiya it's isn't exactly the strongest or fastest ninja around, he's certainly one of the most clever. Over time, he rose to become a legendary ninja and hero of his people. Hailed by the honorable title of Sani. And he's a gutsy one. Like when he used wow, his okay, to take out shit. three of the six members of the emo rock band Pain before they tore his arm off, crushed his throat in, and failed him five times. But even while suffering excruciating agony, Jiraiya proved strong enough to power through and send a vital message to his most promising pupil, paving the way for the next generation of heroes before being swept off his feet one last time. You know? I guess he was a pretty gallant guy after all. Yeah. As you can see, you fail. Jiraiya, the Toad Sage, falls victim to no woman's charm. Rare beauties fall for me. When you reach the stature I have, the ladies worship at your awesomeness. Wow. All right, the combatants are set. Oh, God, Let's end this it. debate once and for all. But first, if you're as hungry as I am for this fight, you may be interested in Blue Apron. By now, you've probably heard of Blue like, Apron, it's not, the leading meal kit delivery like, service in the U.S. But did you know about just, all the different kinds of delicious foods you can make? It's like not the as honey good chipotle glazed as chicken as with like pomano and lime rice. There's plenty to choose from, since they offer 12 new recipes each week. Like All you have to do is choose the two, three, or four that sound best to you, and they deliver it right to your door. Plus, it's super simple to cook. It's got easy-to-follow instructions and perfectly proportioned ingredients. They're non-GMO, and the meat has no added hormones. My favorite part is feeling like a master chef, making creative and delicious meals with my own hands. You guys really need to try it out. It's pretty nice coming home knowing I'll have a delicious meal I can whip up with ease. So check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free at blueapron.com slash battle. That's blueapron.com slash battle to get your first three meals free. But right now, it's time for a death battle! Okay, here's the show we've got now. I don't know why I 
Who's this geezer? Hey, Phosphor Brain! Where are the pictures? It's just right in here. Wow. Pictures? You fool! Words make a thousand beautiful pictures all by themselves! Wow. Well, of course, this is a gun just like a horn. A horn. Please don't take it personally. Not like you wrote the damn thing. But I did! <laughs> Now, oh, shit. Damn. Oh, damn, of course. Oh, it's a it's a spring. It's like a jump to hell. Well, enough time that's just like that didn't take him down. I think. I think he's a dumb ticket down. Oh shit. I've been back on the beach the whole time. Oh shit. I see tries with the ring, but I see. Oh, it's a nice little try. 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 Oh shit. <laughs> I was right. Dio! Talk about a whole new way to win. Damn. Dio was certainly one of the most powerful warriors of his own world. Damn, I feel like that was like a close like one of the closest stuff I've seen last week. She just one of the closest stuff I've seen. The speed seen. comparison wasn't quite so clear cut though. While his unseen battle with Krillin was incredibly quick, Roshi's never personally shown speeds as fast as the yeah, light was to rise scale. As a death foul, I'm trying to impress him. I'm going to get a top choice to death. Also, in Goku's training, he actually had to dodge lightning. Roshi's own training was up after chasing the giddy around. And he needed to be able to chase the giddy around. So, scaled to Goku's progress, it makes sense that he'd be able to match the Raya's speed. And probably even surpass it. Still, it would be reasonable to go to the ring. Russian, Russian, Russian. 
This means the beam must have traveled over so 57 million miles per hour, more than 260 times faster okay. than lightning. There was no way Jiraiya could avoid Roshi's trademark move for very long. Sure, Jiraiya might be a crafty ninja, but all that doesn't boil down to much more than tricks against someone like Roshi. Roshi was simply faster, stronger, and had way more experience. And that's why Jiraiya croaked when Roshi beat him to the punch. Thanks for watching everyone. If you want to see some exclusive commentary, make sure to click the box right over there. And if you want the battle music from the so download it by clicking the link below. Wait, hard something else. Oh shit. Oh shit. I wanna say Thanos works, I kinda of like Thanos as a character. Just like the Dark Side guy. Right? Like Dark Side is kind of But Superman defeated him that one time. And Batman could die from Thanos? Mmm. I okay. Thanos was the machine guns. I'm sure Dark Side has his own nope. No way of more for powers. But nah, Thanos. Thanos has gotta have that one, right? Like I, I can't look. Nah, definitely. Uh series now, of course, like this one should be a season finale, you know what? You know what is this egg is introducing the season finale? This one should be. I can't remember holy fucking shit that's gonna do the same. At the end of the video, I wanna thank all my coach drivers and friends. I will support you on Patreon, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Have you enjoyed, enjoyed the video? You can find the message on Twitter, and you can find and support me on, page, on Patreon. And also, if you like the video, please leave a comment. I always appreciate it. Don't comment for you. And finally, also, you can find the links to Twitter on Patreon in the description below. And finally, Favorite anime reviewer, Jessica Rokaku, and current video game creator. Sayonara, bye bye.